Welcome back to the Ascendant Lands. Well, last time we left off, uh, Krusk and Thorodin managed to meet up and piss off the very powerful cleric -y Merkel mage of death. And, and he visibly promised to be the promise Krusk that Krusk will be the next person Losius kills. So though Krusk got that over his hanging over his head, I'm sure. Um <laughs> and Turi Gertha and Nadia managed to beat out some of their frustrations between each other and Thorodin Fury got his um ass handed to him and by and got smacked around by Hrot. <laughs> but um he got a horn of a haller out of it out of um trying to get get the better try and try and boost his morale. Um and that really spurred you guys into your five days of downtime, which saw Nadia and Talari go off to Saloon Port to, to see some of Nadia's tribe. And the rest of you um, stayed in the city to just relax a little bit, get a bit of downtime going, and just a bit of just recuperation of some of the, the hard traveling you had going between um, Torn Village and Marauding City. Um, so we start back up now on the sixth day of that downtime. You've all managed to collect all of your magical items. And we have, starting off with um, you guys meeting up back in the uh, the lovely maid and, she, and having breakfast with um, having you all meet up again, all ready to go. So, I, uh, I've had some information. I spoke to Benefactor. I feel uh, if, if the rest of you are ready after we've eaten, we should retire and do our usual conversation in private. Sure. I, uh, I might have some news to share as well. And by might, I mean I do. You're not secretly a frog or something, are you, Krusk? <laughs> No, all my secrets are out there. The Zone of Truth uh, has revealed all. Nadia appears to be sulking, but she does find time to uh, give Krusk a very unimpressed and doubtful look. <laughs> yeah. Alright. So we'll move to that, yeah? Or unless anyone else wants to. Okay. No, show sure it's your room to Lari, as usual. Might as well. We will hear what you have to say. In the room. Uh, right. So, I spoke with Kellenbor, as you know. He's the one who tasked me with uh, finding out what's going on with Merkel. He parted me with some interesting information. Now, it turns out we need to make sure we are going to, we are going to need to release Merkel. Uh, the in the one in the medallion and then in theory right. that Merkel and the other Merkel will sort it out between themselves as to which one becomes the actual you know fully powered up version there are how a violent is that sorting going to be because I don't particularly want to be standing in the middle when two death gods decide to have a pissing contest well that's up to them really but however I don't know I mean what's he the god god of the dead death I can never I forget which way around that is it's like God of Death, yeah, or like, and then the, the other one's God of like the Dead. Yeah. Surely you should know this because I'm... the other one's your patron. You I was going to say, I'm pretty sure yours is the God of the Dead. Just because, they, you... just because they, you know, I'm helping Kellen Vorhat doesn't mean I can remember what their titles are. You know. <laughs> I think you should no. probably no. learn. Cleric. Ever. You know? <laughs> so when to to release him from the medallion, has yes. he given us instructions or sort of, but not 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 entirely. So Great. one thing one thing we do know is one we can't they can't be you know they have to be brought together all five pieces. They must Great. not be destroyed as our uh, uh, hirers employer. would want us to do. That's the word employer would like us to do, uh, which will be an interesting t task in itself. We then need to make sure that we release Merkel near the other Merkel, which might prove quite difficult. 
So either we ha either the... either we got to get this one to where Merkel is, or get that Merkel to us. I I too asked Bahamut about this, and he suggested that the only way to do this properly is to release him in the realm of the dead. Correct. But uh. Well, how the fuck do you get there? Apparently, it's not a nice place. And it's not like and it's not like we and it's not. And it's not like we can release him and then take him there. We have to physically release him there. So Mistress oh, yeah, said something well... a bit different. We're kind of in line with what you're saying. She also kind of wants Merkel to be released. But she said if we do basically our original mission and take all the amulet pieces to Mistress City, uh, then she'll take care of it from there. Hmm. This, this... Could she bait him in? What reason would she have to uh, to bait us? <laughs> no, no. Could, could you bait the other Merkel in? Oh, the other one. Oh, she didn't. So she didn't mention it. Well, we talked a little bit about the other Merkel. She didn't mention he had to be close by or anything. But she just said she'll handle it basically if we t if we complete our mission. Right. Trust oh. you, so I don't trust her. Yeah, pretty much. Don't trust me. Did you say? There is. No. So there I don't is... trust her. Yeah. But, but one, I mean, you can say the truth, me. I, that's what it takes. <laughs> one uh, so. one uh, thing that might be interesting, or you know, food for thought for this one, Kellenvor did tell me that uh, Mistra has never had fond feelings for Merkel. That's pretty much what Arg told us. Yeah, so, uh, exactly. So necessarily taking. My suspicion was that she wants us to go to Mistra City to release him. So that she can kick the shit out of him, regardless of where his power ends up. It's not our problem, surely, if she does kick the shit out of him. Well, the well, it is, it, there is, because if Merkel is defeated, not near the other Merkel, his powers will be lost. No, also, not, it's the right it's thing. Said, sure. Well, you, she'll probably tell you whatever she wants to tell you to get you to do exactly what she wants. Consider uh, that. I mean, we are, I, uh, mm -hmm. you're out. You're out, God. Two, two gods to one on this one. Well, the god of death, and uh, who was the other one? Bahamut. Bahamut. God of justice, you know. He yeah. sees it as we should release them and let them figure it out amongst themselves, much like Elm for said. But then we'd have to get all the other pieces, and they might not turn them over to us, right? Well, we're going to have to do that regardless, aren't we? No, because the original mission is to give our piece to whoever it is. But I wonder if those people even know who's in it. No, I've read them, surely. I think we should just be rid of rid of the medallion. Mystery has given us a pretty good option, which is uh lets us kind of wash our hands of it. Well what, turn you... around and go, it's not my problem. The problem is the problem is crushed. You've no, got fulfill your... our original mission. You've got your, you know, body snatching goal in you know that you're <laughs> doing. I have I have my own things that I need to do, and one of those things is to restore the power to Merkel. I don't really care which Merkel, but one of them needs to be restored. This you know, undead, the, to, this, un, of, this, uh, this, un, this, un, this undead problem <laughs> that we've got going on in this, in the, uh, you know, on this plane, needs to be got dealt with, and this is the way to do that. Mistress said she'd uh, sort it out. I'm if sure we she did. I'm sure I bet she, she did. And Merkel, the current Merkel, is an ally of Siric, so by releasing him, you're basically aiding Siric. Not I'm necessarily. Sure anything, but... I think it's very possible that the old Merkel might be able to win, and truth be told. If the new Merkel is against Cyric and the old Merkel is for Cyric, then we release a weakened old Merkel to be assumedly and hopefully defeated by a newer, younger Merkel. Ah, uh, but if we help Mistra, then she will defeat the old Merkel, which guarantees Cyric doesn't get a new ally. But it also means that the current Merkel doesn't get the power of Merkel. Forget the current Merkel. He doesn't he doesn't need power. Well one of them has he to does. have it. Yes, one does. of them has it. It will it will go somewhere. It will go somewhere. Not Merkel a... Merkel will get the power. We'll we'll we don't want, they don't want How Merkel to have the power. We need it Mish. I just said no Mish I... won't get the power. Because that's be what I would be aiming for if I were in her shoes. Well as far as we know it doesn't work like that. No gods have been able to take powers from other gods. Those things a little bit out of balance at the moment, isn't it? Hmm. I think we sure? should uh, go with Merkel. Gods uh, can with absolutely Mistress. take over one another's domains. Can they? I mean, Bahamut is taking no, over. Fucking Bahamut. He's taking over the name. responsibilities of Tyr. Do we know if he's got the power of Tyr? No, no, he definitely doesn't have the power. 
I'll be definitely surprised doesn't. if he didn't. I don't, no, I, don't, I, I, I don't believe he, <laughs> um, he does. He's he's had to take over the reins, but uh, I don't think he's gained the power as a whole. What Arg mentioned of Tyr essentially not being a god for 500, really, 500 mm. years means that most likely no one is the original god of justice. I don't More think the gods can take each other's Ahmed powers. Is just... Otherwise, they'd all be warring, wouldn't they? Wouldn't they, all the evil ones? They'd want more power. Well, there was a holy war, and then bad shit happened. That was a long some... time ago. Maybe there's new rules in place. No, no, there are rules in place, but what I'm saying is people are obviously trying to break those rules. Tear out of desperation. Cyric out of sick well, pleasure. Him. Maybe it's those rules that stop them trying to take each other's powers. Maybe. Maybe. Well, well I'm not the only ones who've had visitations from the gods. Mm. I have the god of knowledge offering me a question to be answered. Interesting. And you have asked what question? Well, he offered me three. What, he I asked... asked him... Oh, okay. I asked him... Hang on, I've got to go and consult my dream diary now. <laughs> Always check the dream like, channel. This was, like, this was like three weeks ago, OC, so I can't remember a damn thing. Since since getting uh, branded, I carry my dream channel with me everywhere. Mm, yes, mm. It's just very important. I don't know why everyone doesn't so have dream channels. I don't know who the other champions of the gods were. Uh, but he didn't know. He didn't know. So, Isn't he God of knowledge. Didn't didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently dumb. that's the kind of thing you keep close to your chest. Uh, and even even he doesn't know everything. Okay, so that was the first question. Did he count that uh, as a question? Then? I guess so. Or did you get like a replacement question? No, I got know? a refund from that okay. one. <laughs> I was going uh, to say he probably uh, offered three answers, so. Oh, no, yeah, it was, it was, really it was a... the answers to three. If he couldn't answer, it didn't count. So that's that's nice. Seems, seems, seems reasonable. Uh... I asked him why this conflict was happening now, and he didn't have a specific answer. Just talking about, you know, people want power and cause conflict for that and i was like no what makes now special why didn't this happen last year it's glaring at crusk <laughs> the I don't, opportunity I don't know was apparently the opportunity to take out tear tear being gone opens up a lot of trouble the good gods are scared hmm. all righty Meaning the evil gods can press that as an advantage. Well, nobody wants to get dethroned for 500 years, do they? Matt, sorry, quick question, just in the middle of mm -hmm. this. Gore, um, not Gore, Tyr is the god of justice. justice. Is he also the god of law? The cause is... You could say, I'd probably argue he's the probably the god of lawyers, maybe? Like those who enforce the rules, but that there's like all different gods have different rules. So like he's not the only rule. Okay, speaker. just double checking because the concept of like he us just speaking about rules. He doesn't. He doesn't carry with him the rule of law. No, he can't. No. Um, right. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So. But your other two. Answers. Yeah, what were the others I was waiting I for? I said... How can the disruption of the balance be prevented? Ah, so he said there are multiple methods. Oh, Which that wasn't one his do answer. you want? Okay. No, well, he's basically... There are multiple methods... Um, if we want to know which method do we want, he'll either give me one in as much detail as he can think of, or multiple in lesser detail. How the will he pick one was... the one? Is it just a random one that we get? We can specify. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I can go back to him and say this is what we want. Mm. Okay. 
I mean, preferably something within our ability. <clears throat> but we, it would be nice to um, get Have justice for Tyr and Sirik and, you know. We're, 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 we're working on that. We don't need put, to. Put uh... the world to rights, kind of <laughs> thing. <laughs> Mr. and I, are, uh, we've got a thing going. We're, okay, we're like, again, oh, okay. again, don't okay. trust you, so. Yeah. <laughs> we don't trust her. We don't trust you, we don't, don't trust, trust her. Yeah. What you say about her. So. <laughs> So the name, the name is me. literally like... shortened of mystery. Oh, we don't doubt what? we don't doubt you're lying, Krusk. The the issue is the intentions behind the you know. What you're saying. The issue is that you said you were going to come clean and spent the next ten minutes avoiding every question we put to you. That's the fucking issue. I wouldn't say that. Right there. Of course you <laughs> wouldn't I'd, say, I'd say that. You felt like I was doing <laughs> you wouldn't yeah. say that. You're the one trying to bend the truth into a fucking circle. You've just said. So I was. Fuck up. I think that's uh, more down to your interpretation. I'm I'm open and honest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, let's and face, let's face it. Let's face it. did follow on, Cyric, stuff you know. Isn't completely irrelevant. Um. We got to put the gods in their place. Hmm. Mm. No, it was we how got... to prevent the balance from being disrupted. Is the question I asked. That's the second question I thought, right? Yes, I was. What, what, what Nadi is trying to say is, what do we ask for? Do we ask for multiple shady options, or do we ask for one really detailed plan? The issue is knowing which plan we want the detail on without knowing what the options are first. Well, I guess if we're looking to bring about balance, are we trying to do it by balancing out the gods? Is tier needed well, he was to saying, be. Do you want... There are multiple methods. Do you want brute force? Do you want cunning? Do you want subtlety? Do you want just the simplest route from A to B? Play, I think we know what we're all good at. Brute force. Yeah, but... it isn't subtlety in any way, shape, no, or form. No, no. But... So, I... you know... I would like are, a diplomatic option. Options. Is there like a neutral method? I, I, need, to, I need to do a task of... Diplomacy is pretty... On the Pretty neutral. <laughs> I, if it'll it'll help, uh, you know, OG crust. You can be neutral without seeing on the fence. Yeah, it will help OG crust if you want to help OG crust. Well, you can help me in my. In I don't. My in, I don't know whether diplomatic really suits us though. I true, but what I'm no, saying no, is diplomatic. diplomacy would be considered neutral to possibly save our old friend, Blazer Krusk. Um <laughs> On top of that, diplomacy is something that we could do stronger, weaker. I just whatever. I just don't. We don't necessarily have to be at our peak before doing something. Maybe, but then I don't know. I don't feel that that would be a very successful avenue for us. I mean, we've got, you know, myself having really. I'm only interested in my own tasks. I don't really care about anything else. You got Krusk, who's some born again neutral liar. You know, no, no, no idea who's you know Open not really not really aligned to necessarily any city, but is more you know of a nomad one of the land. Not really doesn't really you know. You've got yourself who used to just kill people for giggles. Wow. Who's, who's, Dude. Uh, and we've got and we and, 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 and we and we and we and we got we got we got we got. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, we've got Thorodid here who's trying to overcompensate with himself with this hammer and sparky lightning. There you know, we I go. Don't, I, don't really think, I don't really think we are the most suitable people for any kind of negotiation. No. Okay, all I'm saying is, in regards to strategy, the ability to talk and converse and agree to terms and that kind of thing does not require any of us to shed blood it does not require any of us to lose our own blood and it also requires none of us to be at peak physical strength to possibly face i don't know what this is going to take we might have to face a god we might have to face a beast creature we might have to face a little mouse i don't know there is there, a good there, point but there, there the other the other side to this is you, we can get stronger we can't become better people Okay, I'm trying, I actually. Quite, so quite, quite, yeah, very, uh, <laughs> bleak <laughs> outlook Krusk, on Krusk, 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 you went from good to neutral, yeah. I don't think you're becoming a better person. I went from naive. You're becoming a more annoying to... person. <laughs> I went from naive You are, you are aligned with Cyric. Aware. You were aware aligned with Cyric. I was aligned with Cyric. 
Yes. Uh, by that, by uh, your own definition. And I also, sh- and I, I don't know, I, I, I think I speak for everyone that you are shady as hell. No. no. I'm yeah. open and you're honest. Also tone of truth, me. I demand a tone of truth. So Why do you keep so, asking him for so it? You're so you're so open <laughs> that you are covered in more metal than an armory. This <laughs> uh, Are you scared to show us your skin? This just got burned. This, is, this, this took a turn that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> yeah, we took a turn, you guys. That's ask. Thorian, if you want a problem with some crust, wait no, no, until no, the rest no, of no. us aren't here. No. <laughs> as much as much as I am loathed to, to brute force, I uh, I would be a fool not to admit that might be our better option and what we are generally good at as a group. But Turi raises Anything a good else? point that we don't know what we're going to face if we brute force. Could brute, be quite force dangerous. brute force oh, might cause off. us, and I can't believe I'm agreeing with him, but brute force might cause us to face something along the lines of a titanic creature, a dragon, a god. It could make us face something that is way beyond our possibility of could, strength. Could we, could we? I know the option was like, you know, a little bit of a lot or a lot of a little bit. Could we not get like a halfway house and get like a fair Two or three decent, options. Well, a fair options. decent medium, amount? Medium depth. You know, Two yeah. options, medium detail. Yeah. That would be good. How about that would be perfect? A brute force option and a diplomatic option yeah, in think... medium yeah. detail. Yeah, and then we can, we can, <laughs> we can, we can see. If we've got the knowledge we feel about that, we'll that. just go in and kind of be yeah. like, look, okay, so we've got a few options here, but if it's really focused on two, could you give us the pros and cons of both? It's like it's like water in a glass. You can either fill one all the way or separate them out, or you could just fill two up to the, you know. And if you, if you know, I don't know if it actually does work like that. Well, just show him, give him the glass <laughs> method, you know, choice. analogy. If he, te- if he tells me, no, bugger off, you have to pick one, I'll have to come back. Like, the other okay, the okay. option what's our, is. What's our backup plan if he well, says no? Bru- 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 force. What, what if he yeah. just decides to go, no, okay, you've lost your chance, I'm not giving you any information now if you've missed our chance? I don't think he would. That'd be quite rude. I don't think he would. Well, I don't know what kind of god he is. <laughs> Be he's a pain in the ass, like all the rest of them. Because when I asked a question that had multiple options, he gave me those options. He didn't say, like, because you can't decide, you can't have anything. Good point. Okay. Wait, was that so? That was the second question you asked him. Did you ask him a third question? Oh yeah. What was the third? That was a bit more personal. Fair Fair enough. enough. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I mean, if you just chuck out Zone of Truths. I think I gave, I gave Nadia a look. Like a... It wasn't anything particularly interesting. No, I think I think it's more of just like a... Uh, she gives you a look of like, fair enough. Mm. It wasn't anything particularly interesting, but still, it wasn't actually relevant. Okay. okay. Alright, so second question... I, I I think so. This this half, the, basically this water. one's this <laughs> one's what we've got. This was the only useful one I managed. Well, if okay, so if we can't have the medium two, should we at least mm-hmm. take a vote as to which one we want as our backup? Because I feel we're, gonna, we're never fair. we're not going to really be unanimous in this. I I, I, I don't least. I don't really see anyone as a leader here. It's more yeah. of a d- democracy. Well, I think so. the most powerful one should make the vote, but. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, should we go? Should we go talk to Harot? Should we go talk to Harot then? She's not part of the JC. Come on now. Yeah, it has to be Come within now. the JC. We need. We need a JC. In decision. which case, it still ain't you, Thorin, because I've handed you your ass on several occasions. Yeah, several. That was before I got the hammer. Actually, me too. That was before I got my power. Yeah, no. let's be real, Thorin. It would be me. I, I would have to make a decision then. Oh my god. No. <laughs> I think it's you're, you're nothing without your armor. If wow. you want the most powerful, <laughs> your armor. Here, it's probably Talari because she's the only one that can bring anyone back from the dead. That is very true. That's no good if she's dead herself, though. No, yeah, but the just... question is, if all of us die, what are you worse compared to put all this, of us it, being put, alive again? Put it this way, Krask. What's more important, you or your armor? Me. Exactly. I'm the person. You are the, oh, right. you are the armor. You see. <laughs> oh wow! Jeez, <laughs> that's some deep that. shit, Talaria. Oh god. Oh yeah, I like that. So, All right, vote. 
Put these then? two Muppets in their place, to be fair. Okay, so... <laughs> everybody say aye for brute force. Aye. Aye. Both arms up. <laughs> everybody say aye for diplomatic opportunity. Aye. Aye. Can I tell City to also meow at, um, in a sense? City's vote doesn't count. Oh, we said anyone in the JC, and City's part of the City's JC. City so has never been adored. Your wolf can vote if, the... if he wants. Nah. City can meow, but... but... To be fair, if City was... gets a vote, then Ulva will get a vote, for sure. Ulva's done a lot more. Not only should Ulva get a vote, let's go talk to the horse. <laughs> <laughs> the horse has been with us the longest, right? The horse is like a probational member, I'd say. Oh, oh my shut God. up. That horse <laughs> has been with us forever. That horse is racist, potentially. <laughs> just doesn't like your shady face. Oh, yeah, exactly, God. exactly. Literally racist. What's wrong with my Did face? Did we ever find out, does, does Neutral Krusk know everything that Good Krusk did? Yes. He said he had it has, all the memories. He had, he had yes, he had all the memories. Okay, so he, he had knows all the memories. So he, he, knows knows he knows about the Razor Talks. Yeah. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Fine. Told him many stories every night. He just sat there and listened. Terrible, terrible. <laughs> Fucking asshole. So, 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 so I guess... Hey, man, it was a difficult time in my life, okay? <laughs> I'm a victim as well. <laughs> oh, jeez. So, so Nadia has the breaking vote then. Yeah. Nandy's gonna steeple her fingers in like a fake, like sinister manner and smile. Well, I am like better at brute force, but diplomacy does have a lot to recommend it. So is that so? Is that evil? <laughs> 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 you know what? I'm not mind, because if I knew what I wanted to do, do you know what I would have done? You bunch of idiots! I would have fucking well asked him for that version. Right, can, you, can you can you can you make a vote please, a so we can get on with the uh, <laughs> the questions? Which way are you voting? Flip a coin. Flip a coin if you can't decide. A roll I'm of asking dice. for the less violent option. Diplomatic. Then. Mm. Okay, so first you ask for boss if he says no, then you ask for diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Nice. I cannot believe Tori has asked for diplomacy. <laughs> right. You've changed. It's like growth is. Trying? Yeah, no, you, you're right, actually. This is quite surprising, because we've got Talari, who's like the group healer, voting on the side of kick everybody's ass, and then you've got me and you voting on the side of maybe we should talk about this. Look, look, I'm not, I'm not, like I'm not a fa in like... favour of violence. I just know what the part, the saying, group is. No, in... listen, listen, listen. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm aware of what you the remember group strengths... You remember your shocking graph. <laughs> Let's, we don't talk. We don't talk about that. No, he had it coming. And, he I, had can, it coming. and I could. I can't. I can't do that anymore. So yeah, I've shed. <laughs> I've that. shed that side Gave of me. I just illuminate people to You're death now. You're a little shit, Talari. You just don't like admitting it. Look, I just look, look, look. I, I know what the group. <laughs> Put those hands down. I know, I know what the. <laughs> <laughs> I know what the party's strengths are. I saw us, you know, take down, take down You're that right, group of people. You, you know. I was, we we all saw what lightning does to people and yeah, all that yeah, business. Just, no. It's just our strength. Our strength is strength. Not mine personally, but the, out of the but four I of you, know. you know, offense is our best defense. Offense, Option. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'll ask for the fifty-fifty, and if you won't give it to me, then whatever. Great. <laughs> We still need to figure out... I was out... very tempted to make my third question why are all the gods such a pain in the ass, but thought it would be a waste. I agree, it would have been a waste. I also agree. There's no one specific reason all of them are a pain in the ass. There's Not really multiple all reasons yes, that they each are individual all one is. The <laughs> are they all a pain in the ass? I, mean, Kelly, I, I quite like Mahmoud. Yeah, one isn't. I don't, sure. I don't usually like dreaming, but every time I'm on, like, Mahmoud's breath and he's flying through the air, it's pretty fucking cool. No. Ah. That does sound cool. I don't get to fly through the air. No. It's, it's super weird. cool. Is that why you've got those flying, those flying boots? Ah. So that you can fly in real life? Now I can run in the air with Bahamut. That's kind of cute, actually. But they don't, they don't like run out. Do they? You're not gonna like plummet to the ground. <laughs> okay, well, they <laughs> don't like them run now. out. <laughs> so if I start using them, there's a timer on it. But it's a very long timer. I'm sure I'll be fine. Plus, I have I have um super cool monk shit that allows me to slow down as I fall. 
It'll be fine. I'd, I'd catch you if you fell. Okay, you fell. I'd okay catch fuck you. off, Krosk. <laughs> you can slow. No, you can trust. slow down your fall. What? It'll be like a trust fall. It's cool. Do it as well. Do you have some like weird, like a feather fall type thing? I use my thing? key energy to cake? slow myself down. Do you hold out her cape, and Nadia does like a, a gesture of somebody like holding a cape out like wings, and she'll like be like, yeah, it'll be fine. A little Don't kiss worry. in the playground style. Powerful key. Shit, my energy. Yeah, yeah. I use it to slow myself down, make my body light. Or she can use mystic energy to do it. Whatever it's, works. It's magic. We'll go with my that. own energy. No, it's mystic right energy. Magic. It's it's Turi it's magic. magic. Is it mystic energy or just magic? It's yeah. It doesn't matter. Not like regular mage magic though. I don't understand magic. I understand my key. <laughs> the boots have their own slow fall thing anyway. <laughs> well, there you go. They do. Yeah. Um. I think we have another vote to make, by the way, since we're since we're voting. What are we going to do with the medallions? We're releasing Merkel. We're not going to enjoy Oh, we didn't even have a vote. We need to have a vote. That's the whole point of the JC. <laughs> You're well, the only one who gives half a shit about the JC, so maybe we should have a vote and see if Cross could, should shut up about the fucking JC for five minutes. Not an option. Because I'm pretty certain you... <laughs> well, exactly. If that's not an option, why should we vote on this? Everybody but you wants to release I was going to say, anyway. you're, go you're literally going to be voted entirely outvoted. Maybe we should do the vote then and we we'll shut him up. Yeah, we'll <laughs> okay, fine. We'll shut him up. Everybody in for releasing Merkel close to us and Merkel so they can hash it out themselves. I. I. Both of her hands up. <laughs> ah, see, outvoted. No, no wait. I, no, no wait. That's. So she doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> and so no, they will never count. To, to potentially save your good friend Krusk by siding with Mistra, who is tr working with me to help Krusk. I believe her only requirement for you is to follow the neutral path, and don't you think it's incredibly neutral to leave it up to them to sort themselves out? Hmm. Yeah. Figure that one out, you fucking prick. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you're, we're starting to build up our friendship again, Turi. Really? This is going well. Yeah. <laughs> it's wow. Turi, 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 if you shove him off the cart later, I shan't stop to pick him up. I thought the good Just, crush was know, the naive one. <laughs> yeah. Hey, she, uh, she wasn't talking to me five days ago, so, um, this is, this That's is good. true, at least this is conversation. Yeah. Even if she does insult you every other breath. Cross, I just want to let you know that you have kept all the shite qualities of the old one without his one <laughs> redeeming feature. <sighs> wow, so you basically are saying you hate old Krusk and now you hate me just as much. No, I hate you more. So you hate both Krusk, got it. <laughs> it's good to know. <laughs> oh dear. The other one was at least a genuinely good person, and therefore yeah. you could excuse him being a pain in the ass. You're just a pain in the ass. Do you just consider everyone a pain in the ass by default? The gods, Krask, <laughs> not Turi apparently, not Tulari. So, maybe yeah. no, because I like them. No, I consider pain in the ass people who are actually a pain in the ass. Most of the gods are actually a pain in the ass. Hmm, hmm, okay. Anyway, we still haven't figured out how we're going to release Merkel. That's the one thing that Kellenvall couldn't tell me. Like, the actual process. Quite a big detail. Well, he just doesn't know. He doesn't know. It, he, he deals with dead people, not mm. magic medallions. Not medallions. And we have well, to be in possession of all the pieces. The we would definitely need all the pieces. That much is guaranteed. The question just put then them is... together. What if... They make up a yeah. shape to put them together. What if, what if the <laughs> Wizards Guild or the or whoever Arg's Guild is called doesn't want to give us the other pieces? I mean Wizards. Wizards, yep. Well, this is the other issue that we're going to have, which we, I guess, will find out how diplomatic we are. <laughs> I mean, just I'm just saying with Mistress Option, we don't have to fight anyone. Well, we may not have to fight anyone anyway. I agree, this is a great time to practice our diplomacy. On top of that, we have Arg. Arg might also not agree, though, with us. I think, I, think I, I would like to feel that Arg would trust our judgment. Mm. I agree. We are the Justice Collect... No, that's not the Justice. <laughs> no, that's the JC. JC. That, that is true. 
Just my good friend Chase yeah. says that we can be very diplomatic with an ally, and I think Arg would be a great ally in that situation. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, either way, we've got to carry on traveling. Are we going or what? Yes, I've got everything I need, I believe. Yeah, I'm all sorted. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Okay, and so you get the horse and cart set up and and get you guys ready for the the few days of journey it takes to get to Shardock. <coughs> and double check, which is what this one, I assume. Yep, oh, it is. Okay. It is indeed that one. Yeah. Oh, it's going to be Fair interesting up. going to a city named after some goddess of darkness and loss. That, that's so it takes about cheerful. Um, if you want to push the horse, you can get there. If you leave like in the morning, you can get there by like late evening, like night time, or you can um, stop along the way. You can't oh. set camp. I don't push him. He's had a week off. Push him. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he's had a week, he's had a oh, that's true. He has rest. been chilling for a week, yeah. But on the flip side, we're not really in a hurry. No, we're not. We? I mean, that was my my inkling. You know, we're not really in a hurry to get anywhere. But yeah, don't really necessarily need to push the horse. We don't need to hang around. It's the old girl got her strength back slowly. Yeah, you know, the mm. the other inverse of that she's been out of it for a week. You know, the, <laughs> you don't just. You know, Oh, out of it for a week and then just yeah. do a marathon straight away, you know? <laughs> nah, no pain, no gain. Oh <laughs> no, no excuses. <laughs> Come on! That's how you get to this shape. I mean, look at me. <clears throat> also got your ass handed to you. <laughs> you get looked at with a raised eyebrow, yeah. like... Not maybe... a no one's perfect. Three separate women have kicked your ass, Thoridan. I just let them win. Yeah. The <laughs> I just let the He's women win. That's it. That's it. Sometimes I Congrats, wonder if you. Yeah. I want, sometimes I wonder if you just want them to touch, like hit you, and as an excuse for them to touch you. Yeah. Yeah. I. Yeah. Oh, oh, why did you put that idea in my head? Sparring <laughs> him again. <laughs> I was gonna say Cross would actually challenge Farid into a spa since because I was gonna do it back in the city, but I forgot. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. 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 You can oh, say I'm you've bet, done bet it knuckle. during the downtime. Okay. Uh, no, let's let's do it. Let's do it on the roads because it'll it'll make. It'll, uh, what do you call it? In the woods. I would have talked about it before, otherwise, yeah. <laughs> we'll break it a lot of travel. Um, mm. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, do, so do you decide to push the horse and try and do it in one day, or do you? I, I think we'd actually use the horse because he hasn't been standing in a stable for a week. I did take it out. So you want to push it? We're not in a hurry. And then... How tired it is. Oh, see. I mean, it's, it's a war horse. I mean, it's pretty... It's, it's used to endure... Like, if you've... From from travelling to, to, to um, Torn Village to Moradin City, like, it's gotten used to, like, travelling days and stuff. And you've been <laughs> taking it out and exercising it. Like, it's not... It's not a tired, lazy horse by any means. It's, it's not a... going to damage the horse. It's just going to wig and just be a bit more tired when we get there, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's the equivalent of a point of exhaustion. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, if you want to get it, whatever, I don't care. Um, well, if, if you... everyone else wants to get there like super quickly, then we'll go, I guess. No, I'm not first. And I want to spar for on the way. So. Well, if you, if you're, you're... Well, if you want to spar for on the way, we better stop. So yeah, then, yeah. No. yeah. Then I guess we're stopping then if you want to slap each other up. I mean, you do take breaks Place. on the road, so... Place your bets. If I mean, you, I want to If you're comfortable that the fight <laughs> will, 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 that you'll better recover on the road as you keep going afterwards, after like the 20-minute stop. Or you need a long rest afterwards, after your, your bare-knuckle brawl. No, I'll be fine. <laughs> Cut, a couple of scratches, cuts. Yeah, Cross will walk it off. Talari could always yeah. heal you if necessary, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Don't heal him. Well, in that case, you might as well do it in one day, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, it sounds like it. Okay. So, um, you set off bright and early on in the, on the morrow, and 
the, the journey is fairly quiet. You um, you see normal travelers on the road. Um, a few groups of what look like um, helm encampments, like mercenaries. Um, the 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 um, from what what you know of helm encampment people, they're they're generally like the almost like the general police force of the of the world of like the world. Like you have like the guards who of each city, and then the the helm encampment mercenaries like they're paid to like. So you you'd either pay them to guard you while you're, you're transporting somewhere, or you'd pay them to transport something for you, or thought you'd pay them to 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 break out someone's knees or whatever. It's they very much pay for paying what you get. They they are very good. They're very skilled and very hardy people. Um, probably some of the best fighters you guys. Um, apart from yourself, obviously. Um, <laughs> 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 as you might as you might think of your own estimate your own opinions but um but generally speaking what you've heard there uh, if you, if you join them then you're classified as a generally a good a good person like like you like the veteran that you that you fought back in the tournament of tier town like that was that was a guy who used to be part of the helm encampment like people okay um so yeah so you take the day um, to get there as quick as you can, um, and on the stop, you guys start have a bare knuckle brawl fight between Krusk and Thoradin. Okay, and you want to go there. round two, Krusk? <clears throat> <laughs> Krusk will kind of like crack his neck and say, <clears throat> "Let's do it." I so, beat you pretty you comfortably last time. Are you going to be wearing all <laughs> that armor in this fight as well? <clears throat> can I? Can I wear the armor? Let's set the rules. No shield, just just armor. He's bare chested. I mean, <laughs> Frodo, Frodo, you're you're a pretty tough guy. I'm I'm. Don't want your hard oh, yeah. bruising my Let's skin. Let's bare knuckle brawl. Hold on, I'm gonna wear my full plate armor while we bare knuckle brawl. <laughs> I'll, 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 take off, I'll, I'll take off the armor. <laughs> so that puts Jesus. me down to. Oh, but then I have ten AC if I lose the armor. <laughs> oh jeez, <laughs> pretty bad. You lost for bare knuckle. Alright, alright. How about this throw What's your AC, Dan? 16. <laughs> Let me cast shield. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> was going to say, yeah, cast shield, yeah. I can't hear you over my thing. Here. So that puts me on 15, so we're basically even then. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Cast each time. So I'll cast shield each time, yeah. <laughs> I've got more than enough spell slots, so I'll just bounce it. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we get ambushed, I swear. Are you saying I should keep track of the spell slots I'm using? <laughs> Can you just use I mean, your shield? I would. Then I can't punch with things. my other fist. Okay, I, I, I will, I will, I will cast shield. I'll keep track of it. I've got lots of sorcery points. It's worth it's it just to be, just worth it just to be sure. No, okay. you, no one's being cheated out of anything here. Okay. But you are uh, a spellcaster, and he is not a spellcaster. So, yeah. Okay. Yep, I will track it. So just assume my AC is a uh, fifteen for this. Cool. How'd you get a plus five? The shield plus five. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow, blimey. Mm. Yeah, shield's plus five. Every for some reason, I thought it. it was like two or three or something. Five. Wow. No. Uh, shield, you of think faith. shield of faith. Uh, shield of faith is like plus two. Gotcha. Mm. That's where the confusion is. <coughs> yep. Fair the shield spell is plus five. All right. So Cross is going to take off his plate. Stake his like sword in the ground type thing. Um, oh yeah, he's ready. Here we go. That's very bad for swords, you know. Not this sword. Spotless. All right, are we doing best of five or first of five hits? <clears throat> Let's do first of three hits. First of three. Saving okay. those yeah. slots, man. Saving those slots. <laughs> yeah. oh, that that's true. I think we all know what he's doing. Yeah. <laughs> lucky points. No, I don't have lucky points. Have a, no, no. no. I have like his only character. The only character that doesn't yeah, have a character without lucky I've already regretted it, but it's fine. <laughs> first of three. Yep. Bizarrely. So roll initiative so he gets to try and throw the first punch. Okay. Oh, initiative uh nineteen. Six. Okay, or then you're first. You throw the first punch. Why oh, is it coming off my chat? Oh that's funny. 
what you roll is coming up in my beyond. What? What, what I roll? Yeah, in the yeah, game, game log. log. Yeah, yeah. Game log, because uh, we're all in the same campaign. That's cool. That's something that's been in the future. Log. What, is this on Twitch? No, 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 no. On, 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 beyond. On, on Beyond. On Beyond. So, so you know it's when... In the, in the top right. In yeah, top right you've got a campaign, and then there's a little speech bubble next to it, and it opens up the hold uh, on, chat hold on. I'll quickly roll something, and you'll see. Oh, wow. Oh, that's really good. Holy shit. Wow. Oh, terrible roll. That's new. Oh, awesome. Okay. Very cool. Yeah, that is new. It, it, they're basically getting to a point where it's almost... It's almost that's you can fun. host your entire game on D&D Beyond. Yeah, that's, really, that's mm. very cool. That's very really good. <laughs> we are not. Okay, we are yeah. not sponsored by D&D. <laughs> We're not. <laughs> <laughs> but if you want to sponsor, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah. So uh, crust through the, through the first punch. Okay. So punches are oh, just. Sorry, I didn't know. No, sorry. no, it's oh, me. Sorry, man. <laughs> sorry, man. Sorry, man. Do we add anything to this? So yeah. So it's, uh, strength. So you add add your strength modifier. Plus, so, 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 sorry, yeah. it's an attack roll. Yeah. So it's it's what you add for your attacks. Am I proficient? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Everyone's proficient in just yeah. Apart from Clara. Okay. That is a miss. That was a very close miss. Ooh. Mm. Yes, an arm strike is one of the options in attack. So. That's a fourteen. Okay then. Krask <clears throat> takes a swipe. Boom. There you go. Fifteen. Oh no! Wait, oh. shit! No, you're 16, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, oh we're starting as well. <laughs> oh, fuck sake. All right, I'd very narrow miss. Okay. Just punches, 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 punches magical oh, sheath, and just punches pecs. <laughs> <laughs> no one moves. It's not the hardest bit. <laughs> the one, the one time Chris is actually dexterous. <laughs> All right, next one. All right, that's even worse. That's another miss. Yeah, it's another shield gone. It's 12. Okay. So it's two shields gone. Um, it's first uh, to three, isn't it? First, first, first to three, is, isn't it? It's a good thing, Bad, really. And Krask oh, gets first, first blood. <laughs> nice, nice. That's a one for Krask. Basic black. <laughs> I don't even know what dice I'm... Oh, much better. 18. Uh, uh, so one each. <laughs> Another and another. Um... Okay, I'm um, three shields down. Another shield down. Okay, punch back. Ah, oh, fuck. Uh, bad roll. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> you missed two. What's a good idea? Oh, that is a perfect hit. Not on our twenty, but twenty-two. Fuck. Okay. Two, two one two, over. One. Uh, another and another shield gone. What's four shields? Ah, oh, fucking back to back threes. All right, Krusk, this is it. <laughs> Let's finish this. Yeah, go on, it takes forever. Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> 13. 13. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> oh, man. How many How many hits is that for? I've, I've used that four slots so far. This, this is your, that's, your fifth, that's your fifth shield that's gone. That's my fifth. Oh, God, I'm into second level <laughs> spell slots. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll strike. Yes! Boom! Oh! A two all oh, the last last hit. <laughs> okay. Last... Okay. Shit. This could be it. This could be it. Could be it. Can he do it? Come on. Can he do it? Yes. Twenty two. Oh, <laughs> oh, Got him. Look. And that's the sixth Why shield gone as well. <laughs> I burnt through four <laughs> level ones and two level twos <laughs> for the friendly spot. It was worth it. Cross will will shake Freud in hand. Well, he'll offer his hand at the end. No. Good. Good. Good fight. Good, good, fight. good, good fight, Veridin. You're a worthy companion and a worthy fighter. Thank you. Someday Thank you, you might get to my expert level. <laughs> well, now that we're, uh, you know, I'd hope to train with you, my good friend, Veridin, uh, many, many, many times in the future. So, what? To so everyone spell else. <laughs> so, to everyone else who watched this, um, you're not quite sure if. They were missing, like if it was like skill or if it was like luck. Like you know, I'm not sure if it was like luck that they hit each other or like luck that like, well, there's like skill that they miss each other so much. Like for, for, for the trained eye of Turiga through Nani, like looking in disdain, thinking, "Cool, we fought harder than that," <laughs> kind of thing. Wow, jeez, nah. <laughs> I'm straight. I'm straight. At least, least, least internally, you don't have to say it out loud if you don't want to. But um, that's like yeah. maybe the kind of like 
aspect. It was not necessarily the cleanest of fights these guys have ever had. Fairly sloppy. To be fair, comparing their match with Nadia and Turi's last match probably isn't fair. reputation and morale perhaps wounded ever so slightly perhaps <laughs> um, but reinforces this, this desire for for his armor <laughs> um, puts it on and kind of lets out like a sigh of ah oh, that's better <laughs> it's more comfortable <laughs> yeah. like his second skin also crust is kind of you know he's still working on his weight so carrying wearing the heavy armor all day is like a good calorie burner yeah cross is good cardio so when you when you put you on the track, the thirty day workout. That's true, Foreigner. You gotta you gotta keep me honest. Remember, yeah. To work with me. He'll, he'll be there like by your bed trying to wake you up. Like let's go, let's go. <laughs> Cross will be on it. If if Foreigner wakes him up, he'll be like, yes, coach. <laughs> like jump out. So uh, as you guys are riding or carriaging um, or driving closer to um, Shardock. You begin to notice that the forested area that was around has been cut down. Like this is an area that has, looks like it's been had trees planted and cut down and replanted and cut down for generations, say. And you just see a pallor of like black rising smoke in the distance as you as you're reaching Shardock. The rumors that you've heard of Shardock is this is essentially the the realm's crematorium. This is this is where a lot of bodies were of of war or of, of famine, of sacrifice, of of basically if you've got not got room for your dead, you send them off to Shardock and they'll get burned on the hu- on huge pyres there where mass graves and mass pyres uh so people are set for holy rites as a Almost like a desperation to try and help Merkel and Kellen Vor with their with what with their duties, you can imagine. Like this mm. is this is what this is what a realm has been has been forced to do to ensure that the undead aren't as even more of a problem as as they are now. This is this is this is what people collect and send their dead and with the hope that um they they at least find peace and find their way into the, the afterlife. Peace, peace. And so so this place is fairly crimey. Super legs. Um yeah, so this is a place where it's kinda of dim, dull, fairly black and smoky, like if if the walls weren't black at the begin with, they are now. Um, <laughs> way way darker and way ashy. Yes. Um way <laughs> way way grimy and dirtier than more than city was like maybe more than city had um, has had like yearly efforts to, to clean the walls. This place hasn't had so much care. Mm. I don't know. Is what it do bad we want smell? to do? Should we just pass through? Do we want to go in? I don't particularly want well, to stay here really longer light. than I have to, but don't probably just that shit all. Uh, probably have to. Stay. <laughs> we'll, we'll probably have if to. If you wanted to skip past, we oh. should camp. You know, earlier, not push on mm. to the city. Well, why don't we just stay the night here, get some hot food and all that business? Because looking at this map, it's quite a long way until mm. uh, the next the next city. So that's the bridge. We should probably get supplies for the rest of the journey. Mm-hmm. Mm. I mean, uh, how many, uh, <clears throat> based on how long it took us to get to Moradin, how long do we reckon this stretch is going to take us? Five days? Lathander Ridge. Because what was the other one? A four week, days. Right? Four days. So, yeah, is the expectation. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's probably a... Yeah, um, supplies might be a good idea if it's a four-day trip. Hmm. Okay, so we'll do some shopping. Um, pay our respects. Uh, probably best not to get separated too much around here. I don't really like the look yeah, of this uh, place. Uh, I would like to stick to Gaza. I mean, Krask, if you want to want to offer or anything, you go ahead. <laughs> Don't worry, Tori, I'll be right at your side. I mean, living oh, in... Oh, good. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Krask, man, that's, that's my place. <laughs> How about we each take a side, Roland? 
I mean, it's not really our decision, but anyway. <laughs> Very good point, Thorin. She, she can't see. share it. A her. gentleman must always accede to a lady's wishes, you know. Yep. Just now, yep. you're in a very serious face that's absolutely taking the piss. <laughs> Thorin is a gentleman. Besides, <laughs> this particular lady is quite likely to punch you so hard you fold in half if you don't accede to her wishes. She's right. I couldn't have said it both myself. <laughs> That's not her anymore, though. She's not as violent. Yeah, but just, like, not just as violent. I mean, she can still be a bit violent, and punching you so hard you fold in half yeah. is only a little bit violent. <laughs> I wish to make sure people can be redeemed and have an opportunity at recompense. Doesn't mean I can't punish them a little bit. You know. Exactly. Self-defense, at the end of the day. Exactly. That's fine, you can punish me if you want. <laughs> <laughs> you did walk right into that one, Alpha. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was just thinking, like, should I say it? Should I say it? <laughs> I can literally see the cog spinning because I was yeah. just thinking the same thing. <laughs> I think Terry to that would say, Oh, like oh sorry, I don't want to punish you. It's utterly terrible. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't tell you you've done me no wrong. Yeah. Yet. Okay. Completely overheard, yeah. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I suppose in a place like this, we probably don't want to stay in one of the lower end. We probably want to stay to the the high ender places. I mean, the lows of the lows are probably a bit too low, you know? <clears throat> yeah, you can, some well, this is from the person who scorned camping. You know, camping's at least okay. You know, you're not likely to have someone, you know, hiding in your, hiding in your bed trying to stab you. You know. <laughs> Do you really think that's at all likely? I mean, have you looked at this um, place? Yeah, it's happened to me before. Oh, no. really? Story. Story time for him. Okay, well, not whether they're trying when? to stab me, but trying to steal shit from me. Oh. Uh, that, yeah. When I, may I, have I forgot where we were. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> You've got the broken war horse, the busty maid, the salty raven, or the guard rest. Um, rest. The salty Just... places are usually good, aren't they? No, I think no. It's guard salty rest. food. They're more, they're more the medium, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they're the medium. It's nice, but it's kind of salty. The guard rest. I thought like, the guard, guard like ones are usually the yeah, nice ones. Yeah, I thought the guard ones are the nice ones. The guard, right? the guard rest is usually the, is, is is claimed to be the nicest, at least. Okay. All right, we can okay. go um, to the guard's place. I don't know, we've stayed at a guard's yeah. place before. Yeah. I think you have, because that's this 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 fairly snooty one for food. I was going to say the they, last they ask, one we stayed at. They uh they ask you not to um not have weapons at the table and. Um, yeah, we definitely have. They're very snooty about um your your food and drink choices. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I think we've been through. Yeah, we've been through every type of. Yeah. How um, how how uh, determined are we to get to the next city quickly? Because I was just thinking a place like this might have some interesting bounties. Mm. Or do we <laughs> think we don't? We don't want to get sidetracked by them. The thing is, we we are still, we have a lot of questions that need answering, and I don't, mm. you know, we are in no rush. <clears throat> like no one's breathing down our necks for this medallion as such, and they can't, mm. they can't, even if they had all four. They can't do anything until we get there. So... I, think, I think if something's on the way, I don't see why not. A bit like last time. But okay. uh, I don't think we should go out of our way to try to find anything. Okay. I mean, if, we're, um... if we're going to a guard's place, maybe the, if there are guards in here, they may know of the area in... I mean, you'd hope in the guard's place that they would at least have a couple of guards. You'd think so. Wouldn't you? <laughs> Otherwise, you're just inappropriately named. So it's can, true. can Cross just split off and just stop, swing by City Hall and then join them back at the guard's place? Yes, Cross, you go on your own. It was <laughs> <a> dark, horrible <laughs> city. You go ahead. It's all right, I'll do this for you, Terry. We won't, we won't, oh. wake, we won't wake up, Cross. It's, yeah. <laughs> Cross. Because Farley knows that no one's going to care, but no. so he'll just he'll just put off. To... Oh, yeah. Thor, <laughs> Thor didn't want to go with you, but oh nice. Didn't ask. No, Farley didn't. Oh, he didn't ask. Oh, all right. Fine. He didn't ask. Move on. <laughs> Away. That's it. <laughs> Cross will go his solitary way towards City Hall. I was I was just just there to check out the bounties. Okay. Uh, so you get to the guard rest, and 
um, room and board for the night um, and breakfast is a gold each per person. Yeah. Um, so you're all willing to, to spend okay. that? Yeah, Mark. Yep. Off now. Yeah. Jesus. How are you? What's the... That's so much gold. Yep, it's a hefty, hefty sum um, for the for the common folk. Um, and to get there, it's the same usual brick and roll. No, no weapons on the ta- at the table for food. Um, a lot of polite, polite chatter. You're not really going really to get like elbow to elbow with um, the, co- the commoners, as they say here. Um, the general chit chat of the city is that um, they're getting quite sparse for wood. It's, it's been a, a bad year for growing, for growing. Um, Growing wood, and they have to. Some 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 merchants are eyeing up the the woods of of um, Bane's grasp now. Um, that uh, looks looks particularly juicy for them. Um, the the that's 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 generally their talk is they're looking to make a profit somehow. And um, there's some talk of like slaves uh, delivering items from Serta's Deep potentially. Um, mm. That's what they're kind of talking about. There's um, they they praise um the folk who uh, slaughtered the the bandits plaguing plaguing the trade route between Broad and City and Torn Village and like the other and like Taylor's Reach and such. Um, the toast toast to them and they they're wondering who can they um attribute the the title to? Is it just the the brand the bandit slayers and they what, what, how, how, what, how can they appropriately refer to them as? Um, Don't in their say a word, Cross isn't here. We don't <laughs> have to mention it. Bandit Slayers is way cooler than Justice Collective. <laughs> Bandit yeah, Slayers um, is cool. At least he's positive and he's not going to get kicked out of town again. That's true. true. <laughs> um, Krusk, as you go into City Hall, um, you get a sense, you get. I mean, you're you're tracking in dirt and stuff everywhere, and people just look at you, go, and it's like, and then people just mage hand like a mop to follow you, essentially, <laughs> as you like the mop of all the, the dirt and so like you you, you track in. That is not um, a mop that gets used very often, considering as the state of town. In inside inside the city hall, it's fairly clean, um, but outside, yeah, that is anyway. Um, yeah, you can't mop the outside of a building. You Come can mop on. the mop the walls, you know, clean the walls. Did you know? I don't mop. <laughs> it's not not the information, at least. Um, and as you get there, um, there's a few. Oh, is oh. Matt frozen for you guys? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. DM has I frozen. It's just me because I'm having connect connection issues everywhere. That's frozen for me as well. Neither one of these, like the wood. Or the slave thing is really seems a poss- like be possible. Unless one of us happens to. Um... Oh, Matt, we lost you for a bit. Oh, no. You hear me again now? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. You're all, you're all um, moving and animated. Sorry. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, so talk about um, this disputes between um, hunting rights between Black Mouth tribes. And so um, there's bounties for, like, for guard for guarding people to go along and try and like um ensure that the the travel is easy and like the hunting goes smoothly um okay. that's what kind of mainly on the, is that, sorry? that's mainly between Morden city and shardock that's like yeah, and like between and like between and like between like this like this square between like Morden city talus reach and this bottom one down here um if i can remember my own map um we're on the uh the city map though by the way I know. I'm. I'm just trying to oh, remember okay. the 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 map. So, so so in between like um, Talos Reach and Moradin City, mm. uh, Shardock and Boltown, like those that like square, which is more like to the north northwest of you rather than to the uh, the south southeast where you're traveling. Okay. Um. Um. Stuff. There's there's a uh, payment for guides to help through Lyra's Mists, which is um to the south of you, and Ooh. they're paying. A fair price of about a thousand gold to to guide them through. There's been some bidding around because um, people have been getting lost in those mists for days, weeks, potentially. Um, um, so if you get someone, 
really really caught caught short you could probably squeeze them for more but um thousand gold is generally the fair price for um a a caravan or a travel traveling party to, to assist with. okay potential because it's quite close by <clears throat> um in terms of anything juicy um things have gone kind of quiet for the time being um mm. because this is more policed by the um helm encampment like mercenaries like bandits and stuff are either out in the desert and so as long as you stick to the road you're kind of safe mm. or mm. you get stuck in the mist and you can get beset upon by by anything is, um are there any like monsters in the mist or is it just like a really thick misty area well it depends if you like live a little tail enough to to tell the tale of a monster attacking you in the mist. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna you know, put that down as the, the... maybe maybe miss monsters. Okay. <laughs> you just just no no one ever knows because that's that's the part of the problem is that if you're attacked by a monster in the mists, you're generally stuck in the mists for a long time, and so the right. monster's a chance to to like take you out. So word of what could be in there is kind of like just it's not known like mm. it could be anything in there that could like, there's there's a lot of monsters out there could could, could, could happily kill and eat a lot of people mm. and so it's just like survivors ta- tales of we got lost for for, for for days or weeks and so uh, any help to to avoid to avoid that as long as you are long the longer you're in the mist the more trouble you basically um you, you draw okay okay cool um, is that in the direction we're going to be going, Matt? I can't see the map yes. at the moment, remember? That's right. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> it's to the, it's to the, so, um, so the mists are like this, like, um, in a region to the left of Lathander Ridge. So, like, yep. you, I can't you, you see do. The map, Matt. I know. But I'm saying for the benefit of everyone else who could also help discuss um, in, like, in character. It's um, kind of, um, I mean, we could go down. So, so if you're so heading to Lathander Ridge, you're not going to hit the mists. But after you leave Lathander Ridge, you basically there's a, there's a branch point where, if you're unlucky, you could get lost in the mists. Is so that sorry, we need line... to. Sorry, is that dotted line a, a bridge? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you could head directly south to Bowl Town, head across the bridge, but then you're directly in the mists. Which is risky in itself. Then we might end up you... need to pay someone <laughs> to get us out. So the bounty is. We'd have to go there and find lost people, is it? And then we'd offer so to guide them it's, out. It's, you are you are paid like guards. So, so uh, someone okay. someone who's going into the mist, and we need to make sure they come so out. They're, so they're so they're heading so they're heading in that direction, and they you're basically hired muscle to help ensure that if they get stuck, then they're not on their own. Right. I got eaten. Yeah. And the thing is, we have okay. no, safety we have, numbers. We have no way of navigating this mist either. Um, that you're aware of. That we're aware of. Well, yeah. Turi can fly. She might be able to fly above it. Yeah, but well, that's not really going to help. Yeah, what if it's like the oh, mist? Oh yeah, that, that'll be great. Terry can fly. All she'll be able to see is mist. Oh, <laughs> you know the mist doesn't rise all the way to the atmosphere, right? Like she could fly above it. No, I know, but that still doesn't help. Yeah, she, that, that, she, that doesn't help she'll be you. able to see is mist. Even if oh, you, even you, if you flew above, if, if, I'll come up. You guys I won't can see pretty see far. Yeah, you, she you can see very see far. Trust floor. me. You can see the horizon of the Earth when you fly up. She could fly up high enough that. Yeah, but she wouldn't know where we and, are and, in yeah, relation but, to that. That's the problem. Yeah. Exactly. I could get out, but you right. not would. Be let fun. me let me draw you guys a schematic. Okay, she's going to oh go God. straight up <laughs> above the thing. Yep. You've never been stuck in cloud, have you? In a cloud. Is that? Have I been stuck in a cloud? Yes. That's what it's, mist no, is, just, no, you know, not. cloud it's a called... bit lower down. No, that's why it's yes. called mist, and not ground cloud. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And I have actually, when I did astrology, and yeah, it's not, <laughs> like... <laughs> right, let me sort that. Oh, no, it's going to be another heated debate. Oh, oh no. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no let's just leave it. Oh, actually, no, this is a bit... Have you ever looked down from a plane on a cloudy day? Yeah. Yeah. That's what Turi would be doing. Yeah, she would well, be looking down. She would be looking in front where we want to go. But we, she well, wouldn't see anything ahead of us because that is also covered by mist. Can I also you explain guys... that the way yeah. the boots work is it's my walking speed. So imagine me essentially having to run in a direction. <laughs> I've got good cardio, Turi. You can do it, right? No, no, no. But it's, it's, it's not that. It's, it's having to run in a direction like specifically up. I don't know how it would work with the boots if I could keep like a straight line, is what I'm saying. It's, it's, like, it's like steps. <laughs> I'm a round line, 
It's basically it's basically it's basically Sanji, isn't it? It's it's okay. it's the. Um, I was I was picturing yeah. more like that. Yeah, like you, know, you could just air kick your way straight. Yeah, up. kick your go the air Doctor away. Strange. Sort of thing. No. Yeah. No. I I, I, I think it's it's <laughs> more no, of a. Yeah. You, you, yeah. But the point is, doing that and going directly straight your, up uh... might be difficult. What's uh? How how long does your fly last before you have to recharge? Four hours. Ooh. Four hours. And I get two hours. Yeah, I've 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 had to put in my notes like two hundred and forty minutes, and then I'm gonna have to do it by minutes. Um, dude, you could definitely do that. You could yeah, fly, fly straight up. Fly for up to four hours. Yeah, general idea why we need to. In several shorter flights, uh, using minimum of one minute per duration. I... If you're flying with when the duration expires, you descend at a rate of thirty feet. And I gain two hours of flying capability for every twelve hours that are not used. The problem, the problem is, if there's anything in the mist, we're still not going to know that it's there. Like they could be pitfalls, and we won't ever know. And mist, and and uh, yeah, Turing, going, Turing, Turing, Turing going up, which is the main issue, really. Turing going mm. up there is not going to tell us about any threads within the mist. Yes, we that's may true. know go forward, but that's not really going to help us all that much if there's spike pits or beasts or whatever. In oh, between us and them. I mean, it's, yeah, it's if we want to take the risk. You know, if we want to take the risk, I guess. Without, without any them. any safe way of navigating that mist, we're just going to be stuck as everybody else. Unless we just fight our way through and hope we don't, you know... We don't any... fall off a cliff. Yeah. We have to clear <laughs> it. Yeah. Well, That's the only thing. Unlikely to, like, fall off a, a cliff. Yeah, falling falling off a cliff probably not so much. It's more like sorry, pit of doom. You know, you, know. <laughs> you, you, you would never you would never see you would never see any traps, for example. Like if there's any, even just you know the standard like leaves covering a pit, you're never going to see it. You know, mm. so it depends how thick the mist is. To be fair, I think this is very thick mist. I think that's the point. it sounds yeah. like it sounds and like pretty thick mist. Like monsters lurking. Yeah, we won't see. If it's if it's bad enough that people need to hire muscle, it's going to be thick. It's Lyra, the goddess of illusion, is the name is ah. the namesake of the mist. Uh, so, so it's probably spooky magic yeah. going on. Yeah, the mist. I mean, Cross Cross will mention it anyway when he gets back. He'll just say like, "Yeah, the only bounty we could do is is this guiding people through the mist, and it's on average a thousand, possibly more if someone's desperate." But mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can guide myself through the mist yet. Let alone anybody else. I think that seems a bit too risky for my blood. I think we've got a lot on our plate, and I don't really want to get lost. Hmm. But gold. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let's get out some map. <laughs> Safety numbers is always a um, a fair argument for some. Hmm. Um, so basically, it's kind of on our way, kind of not on our way. Essentially, we go to the next town, and then we could go slightly back on ourselves towards the mists, or we can carry on towards what we is our main the, destination. The road, the road, the road will take you. Will take you to to the there's like a branch point for the mists. Yeah, so the orange we, line, the orange line kind of skips that. But yeah, so we we can either branch off to the mists, or we can branch off to um where we're going. And depending mm. on how long we're stuck in the mists, we might be stuck there for a while. Who knows? I mean, the only real benefit of going through the mists is, is getting paid for it, and to be honest, I don't think we're in I any mean, kind of position to save anybody else in that mist if push comes to shove. We're possibly mm. getting more money going to the locations we're planning on going to. Yep. Oh, it's always. It's always. Yeah, I forgot we're getting paid. Oh no, but that's assuming we do the mission, which it sounds like we're not. Well, no, it's it's also it's assuming that they think what we think. Oh no, sorry, they've been as bamboozled as we've been bamboozled, or they're the bamboozlers. Mm. That's yeah. the question. We don't know how they're going to react to us telling them who's actually inside it yet. Yeah. Leap of faith. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. My guess is they won't react well. Yeah, uh, I don't know. If they're genuinely surprised, maybe they'll just be like, okay, well... But then it depends if they even believe us. Well, this is the thing. Is like, What word have they got? Talari? Yeah. I mean, the only word any of you got is Talari speaking to the person inside it. It's Talari's word at who's inside. You know, there's no... Nadia saw it as well. Nadia saw it. I didn't Nadia see it as well? Okay. No, Nadia saw it too. I thought, you only, I thought she only spoke to it. That's fair enough. No, she just couldn't tell who it was because she'd never met, like, the other Merkel or anything gotcha, like gotcha. that. She to you. <laughs> The other possibility, just uh, bringing this point across that, that I've only just realised, 
they think it's some kind of demon death god or uh, demon person thing, they might assume that we've all been corrupted and possessed. Hmm, it's a strong possibility. As a, as a, as a maybe. Uh, they could, obviously, they could have just been saying that. Obviously, they you know they could be the bamboos laws and be unhappy that we found out their master plan of getting rid of Merkel. So. I mean, Matt, could, we're, the we're thing, is, the thing is, they could, considering we're going to Mistra C, they could also be aligned with Mistra and, like our friend here, <laughs> there's feels, nothing wrong with Mistra. Feels, feels like if we, did, if they, if they sort, you know, take the medallions there, that will make Mistra stronger. Is it worth Maybe. making a duplicate that we go in with once we tell them? That was our original. A decoy. Plan. We never got around to yeah. it. Yeah. I don't. I think we said that the decoy would be. It wouldn't have the same aura. Yeah, they'd notice straight away because they're wizards. Uh, we'll see. Just in case they like take it from us. I just want to say that Mistria is a good and benevolent person, and uh -huh. she would do mm -hmm. no harm to yep. us. <laughs> I'm sure Mistria no is action. perfectly fine. She's a wonderful lady, Mistria. I'm sure she is. I'm sure, she's great. She only wants to help us. She's a mystery. She only wants to help you. Helping me is helping us. <laughs> Since we are the JC. <laughs> helping you no. is helping you, man. <laughs> yeah, helping you is helping you. We have to be seen about uh, helping us. <laughs> okay. Alright, so um, I think we're taking this... Like, uh, this, this up. right off, then. Yeah, I think we're not... I don't, I don't see any... Unless we can find something that will help us navigate it, like that will give us blind sight or something, but I don't really see how we're going to do that. I mean, if, if there was something in this town, for example, that could do that, I think everyone Someone would do was it. The powerful only... enough to dispel it. Well, this the is it. The, the, the only other way of doing it I could see is going back to Moradin to see if there is anything there specifically no, no, designed that would take us there. But other we can't than that, go all the way back. If you want, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you are that you adamant, that. if you are that adamant about getting the thousand gold to go through the mist. That is probably your best solution. I really don't think it's that much of a thing. Like, yeah. just, just go right. the easier way. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. There's only to see you if you want to do it. Of money. Those, but... it's yeah, not definitely even don't want to double back. Much quicker, right? It's not. I don't think it's quicker. No, it's just more for the money. So it's not quicker. It's mm, just for the money. Way. It's longer in fact. Fuck yeah. that. Yeah. I mean, you get another <laughs> settlement in the way as well, so you never know what you can get from there. Because we have plenty what, of gold. What was the, what? So what was the that one further down? Baal. Baal. Oh god. Okay. Yeah, Baal's we don't to go is, uh, is directly south. If you want to, if you want to follow the orange road to the Thunder Ridge, that's to the, the south. Yeah. south. I'd really yeah. like to avoid, avoid Baal. Yeah, that's town. that's. Didn't, who? Yeah, did one of us piss, go to Baal town. Yeah, did one of us piss him off? Oh yeah, sure, Pelobi. One of us pissed him off. Thanks for that. So you know, you don't have to be so. <laughs> Jesus, okay. <laughs> Fine. Yes, I pissed them off. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. Go, you know, go right. to, going to a place where you've pissed off it's... the god, and it's the god of murder. I mean, if this place is, is going to shank you in the middle of the night, that place definitely will. Their beds probably have shanks <laughs> built into them. I would not be surprised. So, I agree. Let's go around. Yes, I agree. I think you killed Louise. <laughs> Chirigatha, roll a wisdom saving throw, please. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, H. <laughs> Christ, no. Oh, good roll. I was hoping it would be bad. That <laughs> is a... No, it's Chirigatha. Just Chiri? Yes, just Chirigatha. Is it a charmed effect? What's the wisdom saving throw? Well, the thing is, I get advantage if it's a charm. If it's if, if it's someone try to charm me, it is not a charm. Okay, so that's nineteen. Why are you asking with a nineteen? Just in case, you know. What, what, if, what, what if we're dealing with a god? You know? So, um, you get a small sense of like someone saying your name in like a very distant far corner or something. Oh, then it goes. Word. Who, we were just talking about Baal. Trying to talk to you. Oh, I you think I'd like to go. Him. <laughs> like, like, you, like you know, you like sat somewhere in like a really like crowded room. Yeah, and yeah. And like, you, 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 your ear just like twitch. Your ear twitches. Yeah. You know, like yeah. it's like like that sensation. 
I know the feeling. My name's uh, Arthur. Every time someone says half A, it's like everywhere. <laughs> yeah, so, so, so that, that, you get that sense and it goes straight away. Try having people talk about the weather. It's awful. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> if if Tiri turns around and sort of like looks, can can I do a perception check see if I can see anyone? Um, Nothing. Nobody's looking your way. In a no second. one's looking my way or anything. Do we see Tiri? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah you would. Uh, you get paranoid, Tiri, where, did you? Did, where are you looking? I just sort of heard something. Oh dear. Something. Range. I mean, there's a lot of dead bodies around here, you know. <laughs> it's pretty spooky. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Would you know anybody in a place like this? No, I don't think so. Um, I never left here town before our journey, so no. Hmm. Well, yeah, don't suggest the place is haunted. You set to Lari. <laughs> <laughs> Can I roll um Arcana map? Is there any kind of lingering <clears throat> magical? Magicalness. Well, um, I can't. Really, there's like magic in the room. Anything it's a, like it's a fairly, it's a fairly what? posh restaurant. Like you can't. It's kind of like, like background noise. Okay. Not, mm. You need to do like a detect magic or something to really get a oh, sense okay. of what's going on. Talori, how do you feel about just? Because I'm a little bit just tiny little twinge of setting off. Uh, would you mind if we shared the room tonight? You can trance a few hours. I can trance a few hours. Uh... Wow. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't expect that. Would it, wouldn't you be more comfortable with somebody like Nadia, who's like big and strong? <laughs> I just need someone to be able to wake me if something bad is going to happen. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I, I can I'll do that. I'm sure, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm, no, dear, no, she gets like clapped on the shoulder. You know? Oh no, it's 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 not that. Uh, don't, no offense or anything, but you're not of an elvish kind. We can chill out for a few hours, and then the other one can chill out for a few hours. It's kind of just like a perfect watch. Yeah, but Turi, I can stay awake for a few hours while you trance, and then you can be awake. That's fine. Okay, fine. Like, it's not like I'm gonna be missing a full night's sleep. Besides, I'm a really light sleeper. Well, we can, we can, you know, sleep, you know, have a bit of a sort of lie-in for an idea to, to catch up, I guess. You know, that's def definitely more preferable than sharing. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, to, no offense, Terry. Holy, what, what the hell? <laughs> No, no, offense, no offense. I just, you know, it's a space. I, I just, it, it's nice to have. I just think Nadia is a really good choice. <laughs> <laughs> look, look. Nadia just doesn't want anybody to know that she sticks her head under the pillow because she's afraid of the ghosts that Thorin suggested might be around. I'm not afraid of any ghosts. So you've got to room with me so that her secret. We've killed. Really we've killed. Safe. Like. We've killed kind of ghosts. Okay, so okay, we... okay, okay. Whatever. Look, Flory Van, little offended. Okay, so <laughs> we'll I'm just this saying, later, if you I want think. a protection, you're going to want someone that's you know. No, 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 no. I get the picture. But the big it's glowing. Fine. Her axe glows. It's just, it's fine. It's fine. It's not like two. Line is understood. <laughs> if anything, the axe is worse. And see yeah. properly. It's really terrible. Would you like City, Terry? No. He's no. company. No, keep your cat away from me, please. He's very well behaved. Keep I mean, actually, where does Ulva sleep? Does Ulva sleep with, with Nadia? Or did, did, did... Yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I'm chilled with him. Yeah, bring, bring Ulva in. That's great. I chill with Ulva all the time. I'm so cool Look, with that. If any, <laughs> if any kind of assassin or something breaks into this room, they're gonna get the shock of their fucking life. Besides which, there's not gonna be enough floor space for one. It's okay, I sit to sleep tonight. So Terry, you're gonna be rooming with a glowing axe and a large wolf. <laughs> <laughs> huge wolf. There's a huge or large. Huge wolf. Is it large or huge? Large. I think she's just large. She's like nine foot long. So she's quite big, but she's not big. like still big. super big. Bigger than any of us. Still pretty fucking big. Me and me and Alva have an understanding since doing watches together. Out of interest. Cool. 
Thor, what's what size class is Thorin in? Is it me? Is, is you still are dwarves still, yeah. still medium? Dwarves still medium. Dwarves still medium. So you can't. You've got to be a halfling. Halfling. So, like, so, so like so so yeah. like so like Guile could probably ride over. We should inquire about yeah. him next time we're around that Dom, way. Dom at Gala is quite, quite a fat halfling, so... That's true. That's <laughs> probably, true. probably unlikely, yeah, but the average, the, the, af the average halfling, certainly. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah. Probably struggle but, I mean, getting on top of, uh, on, you know... <laughs> yeah, you'd have to lift him up like a kid. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fair enough, sorry, I'm just curious. You know, hammer in one hand, riding a wolf. Thorin would be probably, so awesome, you know. man. So, yeah. Yeah, like, well... Fe like Fenrir. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. It would. It would look pretty epic. Or Grindy's that. All right. Um. But yeah, she's a large beast, apparently. Mm. So yeah, she's not huge. She's right. only large. Which means it puts her a size class above me. Mm. Yeah, massive. What's that so range? Whatever. Is it ten to ten foot? Ten foot? I can't remember what the range was. 10 by 10, 10 by 10, yeah. large, 15 by 15 for huge, and then no. so on and so forth. That's it's pretty big. It just bites people. It's pretty badass. So, yeah, so, um, yep, so you, you settle up on your food, you, you trade in your keys, and then you go to make sure you've got a shared room that has like yeah. space, space oh, for, you, for you both. Sorry, how much is the room? I need to minus one gold, is it? One gold. One gold. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, as you rest, um... right? Yeah, I got my spell slots back. Yeah, I was. I was going to say before before we rest, uh, Terry's going to go to Talari's room and knock on the door. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh... <laughs> Please don't open the door. That would make it face. Face. Uh, personal. Yeah. She'll, 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 she'll come up. She'll, she'll come up to the door and just kind of. Uh, uh, who who is it? <laughs> It's Tori. Oh. We have to talk. Do, do we? Do we? <laughs> well, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Opens the door, Talari. Do I, oh, do I have to? Yes. <laughs> She's right, she'll, she'll open the door like a like a like a little like you can see like the side like eye. Yeah, hello. Like an inch. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Can I help okay. you? I understand. Private person. Get that. Fair enough. Don't worry. I'm not coming into your room or into your personal space or whatever it is. Uh, she goes into her bag and gets out a medallion uh, with the holy symbol of Kelimvor on it. Interesting. And she hands it o over to you and says, Look, I've seen a lot of clerics with these. I no noticed you didn't have one. I thought I'd get one for you back in Moradin. Didn't have the time to pass it over. So, here you go. I thought I would do it in a really nice way, but obviously we have a problem, so here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, is that the secret present you again? The medallion? Yeah, mm -hmm. for Talari. Oh why why Talari? Just for the Kurik thing. Um, you, but... she's, you've you've, you've <laughs> obviously been through a lot. I was trying to think of what would cheer you up. I'm not so good at buying girly things, but I know you're a cleric, and this will be useful, maybe, so... Oh, well, oh, yeah. God. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. Thank you, thank you, Turi. It, it, it's nothing you know, It's nothing personal, I just... Oh, uh, I don't need any more information. Yeah. I, think I lived on my own in a tiny little room with stone walls, stone bed, and small cavity in the wall. I get it, it's fine. Getting used to other people is tough. Thank, thank you, thank yeah. you, Turi. I'll, uh, I'll uh, 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 treasure this fondly. Okay, you don't need to oversell it. I get okay. it. It's just... <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite sure what to like. You know, how do you, you know? It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's just a nice. I'm just. I'm trying to be nice. I'm working on it. You know. Oh no, it's, it's, it's very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Well, good night. Have a nice trance. Bye. Good night. Just shuts the door. Incredibly awkward. Scramble. <laughs> You can always hear her like scrambling back to like a. <laughs> I love it. It was great. <laughs> Are I love you going to sleep tonight, Talari? Just after what you just got. <laughs> she... She's in your room. It'll probably take. It'll probably take. She's not. What? Yeah, but you have your group meetings in in her room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's not like because that is like still work. Like it's not like 
So there's, there's, you know, there's, you have your office desk in the home, but when you sit on the sofa, it's completely separate. Exactly, yeah. You know, yeah. I think, I think it's just personal, Arthur. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh no, Terry's <laughs> thinking personally. Terry's like, <laughs> <laughs> hey man, Cross, Cross would never have done that. In Terry. severe introvert. What can I, got a, got a, you know, <laughs> Terry gets it. Terry does get it. Yeah. Um. <laughs> You go to so add, add a holy symbol, I guess. Yeah, yeah so you, you just go on holy symbol. Cool, nice. The, it's you. not like a special one or anything. It's just yeah, a holy symbol. Cool. Thank uh, you. you did have some composition of like having Talari's name on it, I believe. Yeah. So. Oh wow. Have, like a name engraved on it. Yeah, you've got the uh, like the Kellenvor. It's a skull, isn't it? Uh, or I can't remember what it is. Like it all scales, I think. Uh, Kellen... Kellen... Other th it's it's the symbol basically. It's, 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 Upright it's, yeah, skeletal it's arm holding balanced scales, yeah. Yeah, balanced scales. So like along the probably like the main part, pole of the scale, probably just your name inscribed on it. I don't know your second name, so it's just Talari. Oh. She will she will ha she will look at it, see her name, and one tear will go down her face. One gentle gentle tear. Gentle tear. Yeah. Gentle tear. <laughs> yeah. So. You complete your long rest, and for for most of you, it's a, it's a pretty chill night for as for as much as you can have in a city um, dedicated to the goddess of darkness and lost darkness and lost. Um, Do any assassins drop in on Nadia and Turi and get the surprise of their fucking lives? No, you know what, they probably peered quiet. in through the window and was like, "No, no, I'm not doing that." I'm, not <laughs> doing that. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> That's pretty quiet, but um, in the morning, can I have Nadia roll a wisdom saving through? Oh, please? thank Christ, it's not me. What is going on? I'm very intrigued. A wisdom saving throw? Uh, yes. Yeah. So d, &D <laughs> Beyond, tell me what my modifiers are. We're being followed. Uh, d, d Beyond appears to have crashed. Come on, d, d Beyond, sorry. Where if this turns out to be dial? I had it loaded up. Hilarious, wouldn't it? And wisdom. What did like, you say, Sir Alpha? Like if it was Guile. If it, if it was Guile. Guile. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> I've got some I'm dumb weird shit call. now, guys. <laughs> no. It's actually 22. I don't Me think too. I get any extra. Matt, can you think of any extras I should add to this? What is it? No. Wisdom. Uh, it's plus three, your wisdom, wisdom saving. I know what my wisdom saving throw is. No. Uh, I'm just asking if any of my abilities trigger. No, not for this. Um, well, in that no. case, it is a 22 because I rolled a 19 because it's a dice of white to me. 22, okay, and you get the same sensation of like someone like saying your name for like a really, really far distance away. Like your ear like just twitches. It's like, huh? And then it just immediately goes away. Hmm. Nadia does basically the same thing as Turi except like less paranoidly. Like, She's used to like living in a large family group, and so someone calling her name from a distance is something that she automatically reacts to by like full body turning around to see who wants her and remembers that she's not at home. Mm -hmm. And just looks around, looking quite confused. When is this? Is this like at the breakfast table? Uh, yes, it's basically when you when you wake up in the morning. Ah, so we all we all see this her turning around. But yes, you're on, yeah. on your way to breakfast, you're all just like... Okay. Yeah. All meet up. It's, it's very, very obvious. It's like the full body turn you do when someone like calls your name across a, like, a large room or whatever. What did you hear? You heard your name, didn't you? I'm not yeah. mad. Huh. No, you're not mad. It, it's, it's spreading. Could, I did. It, it's could, spreading, guys. Could you make Was out? I sitting there last night? <laughs> <laughs> could you make out who it was? Any details or anything? Matt, did I think it was anyone in particular calling my name, or do I, did no. I just hear my name and automatically react? Yeah. It was just, it was just like the ear, the name, like, like way off distance. The ear twitches and just, and it just goes. There's the same, yeah, like, you imagine like sensations like someone like prodding your personal space and then just getting backed off. This is really interesting. Maybe we should stay a bit, guys. It's the city, we should, man. We should get yeah. to the bottom of this. No, I don't nah. think that's important. There's someone trying to oh. probe our minds. I'm not interested. What if it's 
What if it's Krask? I've been manipulated be before. I'm not sure that it's going to be Krask. I think he, he'd have an easier way of getting into my brain. So considering where we are, I can't imagine it's anything good. Well, uh, she's the god of loss and suffering. Maybe someone's had a, a severe loss and they need our help. Well, they want us to suffer some loss. And <laughs> uh, someone they reaching would... out to us. Oh, I'm I'm really curious. Who knows? Who, it could, who be, could be. Who knows? Sorry, didn't loss could mean loss of money. Maybe someone's trying to call out to you and take all your. Don't, don't let him scare no. you. For, don't let her scare no. you for it. In. I'm sure no. it's not loss of GP. No <laughs> fucking ghost is stealing my money. <laughs> if you're a mage now, can you tell if someone like tried to cast a spell on me? I, I am. I unfortunately haven't. Uh, I don't have knowledge of the particular spell. Detect magic or any single spell. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I don't have detect magic. I can detect magic. Ah. Oh. No Please asked. do detect no magic. I was thinking of using fairy fire to see if anyone was invisible around us, but <laughs> I, 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 I thought it might be a bit much. <laughs> All right, I'll. Uh... You give it a shot, shall I? See someone just try to cast a spell on me or something. Okay, why not? Right, she'll, she'll cast. Uh, yeah, because ten minutes takes a while. I'll um uh do cast detect magic. I don't need to roll anything. No, for the duration you sense the presence of magic in 30 feet of you, yep. if you sense magic in this way, you can use your action to see a faint aura around any visible creature or object in the area that bears magic, and you learn the school of magic, if any. Uh, and, most barriers, but and by and one foot. So, yeah. um, so, there's a lot of magic in the room, generally. Um, just like the, the, like the, the sconces and the wall, um, you get a sense of like magical like illusion magic. Um, like like sunlight and or, or something equivalent. Um, the each of the doors have magic, so there's like magical locks potentially on them. Um, there's lots of apparition in the room in the area, um, but nothing specifically anything around Nadia. Uh, you you see you see her, her weapon is glowing, a mm. shield has an aura. So of... I can't sense any like divination magic of, of any kind going on. If I can, I don't know if I can isolate that in any yeah. way. Could be a... all, all, all the magic you see in Anadia is just like her, 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 her armor and weapons. Yeah. No. You see Ulva's raincoat, basically, like her, her cloak, uh, Ulva's cloak of protection. Mm. And that also gives off a faint um, oh. abjuration effect. But nothing, that's, that's all you can sense. Yeah. I mean, there's magic everywhere, but nothing that would uh, pertain to what's going on right now. If anything did magically talk to us, it's no longer here. Or it didn't use magic. Could be like a deity type thing, possibly. The problem with things like communication magic is once it's done, it's done. It's not. It doesn't really. Mm, it wouldn't leave it's not like it's, oh, it's not it like not it's show an, up uh, if somebody had tried and failed. Then only if they tried, tried and succeeded. Well, the thing it, uh, it's, on me right now. I would imagine it would pick it up if it was like a constant, like say, link with somebody, like some kind of telepathic link. That was always there. It would probably pick it up. I would imagine. Hmm. Hard to I say with these things. Say and investigate what it is. Also, oh, whoever, whoever it is, they either waited a day to do it again, mm -hmm. or they wanted to space it out to try not draw suspicion. I mean, to be fair, happening in once was enough to is enough to draw suspicion when you do something. That's like that. true. I was very uncomfortable. <laughs> so it happened to to uh, Tiri. And then either by coincidence or by proximity, it happened to Nadia next. Possibly. And both times, what did they say? They just said you're both your names, right? So just... first Puri, then yeah. Nadia. You know, someone says your name like at the other end of a room or like mm. across a big distance and you like just about hear it because, but you, because you're so used to hearing your own name, you like turn around because your brain picks that up. Yeah. It was sort of like that. Like... I couldn't Ten. make out, like, it wasn't like someone's voice I recognised. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Krask, if they ever, well, they ever tried on that. you, you could always, like, allow the voice to take over. I was actually thinking if I, if, if my last week's role was not on, it's going to be like, I fail. <laughs> Deliberately. Don't I'm very intrigued. I want to I want to know what they've got to say. That yeah. might not be wise. Could, could, be, could be an excuse. You know. For, we could leave them here. <laughs> uh, I can <laughs> hear you, can I? <laughs> <laughs> Krusk. Someone's calling me out to you. You need to get better at this, Talari. You can't say in front of him. Oh. whisper or... We need to find a way. Hold a conversation till later. Well, he's always here. 
Can I stand like closer to Tur uh, to Turi and Nadia? If it is a proximity thing, I want to I want to get the next. Fuck. Oh, fuck off. Oh. Wait, <laughs> someone could be in need of help. I don't care. I thought. What about your redemption, Turi? Yeah, no, that's fine. I'm working on that, but I still need some more time with you. Okay, so back. No, I, I meant the he wants, he wants, he wants the to voice. have the, someone whisper his name, and, and I'm just gonna go <laughs> right up, to, right up to uh, uh Krusk and like put our uh, like put her arm around his waist, like so she's basically as close <laughs> as physically possible. Oh. How's this? She said. Krusk will oi, oi. slowly kind of put his arms like back around Nadia and say, Nadia, this is purely for business. I hope you understand. Oh. <laughs> purely professional. Good. What? 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 Oh. Hey, what? <laughs> What's going on here? <laughs> why? Why do things always take a turn around here? <laughs> Professional reasons only. Uh, <laughs> we, we, I just want to help. <laughs> are you, are we, should we be, how pro this how, how like much proximity are we? Manner. This this proximity seems a little bit too. <laughs> too... Should we be trying to do this? Do people want to hear the voice, or do we just want to get out of here? I want to hear the voice. Want to get out of here. Chris wants to hear the voice. But I think. I think. <laughs> I, want to hear the voice. I mean, I don't really. Want... the dead has turned his brain. <laughs> I don't. I don't particularly want to stay here if I don't have to. Well, let's have breakfast and fuck off then. I agree. Oh, I really want to hear this if voice. If you want to hear the voice, please <laughs> let us know. Oh, but it took ages for you guys. It took at least twelve hours, right? The the, the game inside me is like, oh, shiny thing in the corner. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm literally like. I want to know. <laughs> <All this. laughs> oh, I can feel the plot arriving. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I can even... just like, I don't like this. <laughs> Winter. I feel like Krask would be interested as well. Now that he's not pretending to be old Krask, he can express his interest. But yeah, new Krask is all like magic weird stuff, so. Yeah, exactly, yeah. yeah. Plus knowledge. And this sounds very spooky. You know what you could do? What? Ask somebody if this is like a known thing. I, I was thinking that, do, but then I also thought I might get some weird looks. I don't know, let's go check. On that spooky bombshell. <laughs> <laughs> let's find out next week. <laughs> Very spooky, yeah. What what is the what does the voice the the, the, the name calling mean? Will that happen to anybody else? Will it continue to happen? Who knows? Let's find out next time on the Ascendant Land. Right.